Hey guys, Scout Football Scoop. Uh, today we've got Zach Bigelow, the defensive grad assistant at Tulsa with us. Hey bud, how are you? I'm doing good, Scott. Appreciate you having us on, man. I like what you're doing for GAs. My pleasure. It's, uh, it's good exposure for you guys. Hey, uh, Zach, tell me about yourself. Uh, where'd you play ball? You know, how'd you get to Tulsa? Absolutely. I uh, grew up in Colorado. Was lucky to get a scholarship to kick at the University of Northern Colorado for Scott Downing. I uh, was there for five years. Uh, got the career cut short. I had a back surgery, wasn't able to play anymore. So Coach Downing and I had a great relationship. He was my head coach, the special teams coordinator, and my position coach. So I was special to spend a lot of time with him, get to talk ball. And through him, I kind of exposed to him my passion for football. It was something I, I wanted to continue after I was done playing. When he saw my injury, it was in the middle of the season, he kind of led me towards a kind of a student assistant role, was working with the kickers and punters. And then when I was done, finished my degree, uh, I started recruiting in the recruiting office. I was logging recruiting films, volunteering, just anything I could find, find a way. And he saw that this was something I was willing to work for. So I was lucky. Uh, he hired Greg Peterson as our offensive coordinator. Yep. He gave me a position as the offensive uh, graduate assistant there. And then we had a year together at Northern Colorado. And uh, those two guys got spots here at the University of Tulsa. Special teams coordinator for Coach Downing, offensive coordinator for Greg Peterson. Uh, they recommended me to build Blankenship. And luckily, I've been here ever since. I think that's that's a huge recommendation when uh, coaches bring you along. Uh, I think that means the world to guys. So, uh, first job at Tulsa, what was it? I started off as the offensive quality control. Uh, it was kind of a smooth transition. We ran the same system that Coach Blankenship had had here at the University of Tulsa, but I had familiarity with Coach Peterson on the offensive side, so we got to talk the same lingo in terms of breakdowns and how we ran the playbook and everything, so it was a smooth transition. Uh, it was nice because I had learned Coach Peterson's system and then got another great opportunity to come over here. Uh, we were more pro style in Northern Colorado, and we went to a spread, no huddle look at Tulsa. So kind of the same coordinator, but you get to learn two systems. I uh, learned a lot from him. I'm very grateful for him. Like you said, the relationship I've developed with him, the things I've done for him, just it means a lot when guys in this business will look out for you like that. Yep. yep. And then um, this past year, an opportunity came open for the defensive graduate assistant here. Ours left to go to the Oklahoma State, Jason Seymour. And... Uh, Kind of wanted the opportunity to, I still would like to get back to coaching offense, but saw a lot of value in getting to work with the defensive side of the ball and getting to learn not just offense, what offensive things, but what the defensive side of the ball thinks as well. I, I completely agree with you. I think that's uh, invaluable. For for a young guy to be able to see both sides, you know, exactly kind of like what you said, you want to get back to the offensive side, but to have spent a year thinking like a defensive coach, thinking, you know, what are the reads, what are the tells, you know, what – what do I need to be seeing? It, it makes you that much of a better coach on the offensive side of the ball. I, uh, it, it's not for everybody, but for those guys that it works for, I'd recommend it to everybody. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you learn defense when you're on the offensive side and you spend time working with defensive players because you're coaching the scout team and you're breaking down film all the time. But already the time I spent on defense, I wish I could go back now and just how I would have tagged things maybe a little differently on a breakdown. Maybe I could have seen more of a, a tendency from a defense or – Things I could have told our defensive scout players on, hey, this is exactly what you're reading or looking for that might have been able to give a better look. So already you feel like you know defense, but I've already learned so much more that I know later on as an offensive coach will be help me be able to coach on that side of the ball. Yeah. So which group are you working with most now on defense? Uh, right now I work the most with our secondary. So that's with Coach Left as our safeties coach and Coach Walker as our corners coach. That's great stuff. Hey, uh, tell me about you know your desire to coach. You know why, why is that? You know where does that come from? I mean, football is just always something I've loved and cared about. If I wouldn't have been slow, couldn't catch, and weak, I would have played something other than kicker. But <laughs> good Lord made me who I am, so that's what I did. Um, but, you know, when I was a kicker, I always wanted to get along with the guys. I didn't want to be that guy that was just the, the soccer player that played football. I wanted to be a football player that kicked. Yep. So I'd hang out in the offensive line meetings because those guys will protect you. So I hung out with them, and I just kept learning the game. And when I finally saw it was when Coach Down gave me that opportunity to be a student assistant when I had that back surgery my senior year. You get the opportunity to work with someone, push them toward their goal, help them reach that. I mean, that's almost more rewarding than doing it yourself. So and the more I learn about this game, about offense and defense, you start scheming, getting on the whiteboard, the better you get at it, the more I love it. Zach, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you and uh, to speak with you. I appreciate you finding some time and hope you guys have a great year this year. I appreciate that, Scott. Thanks a lot, man. All right, man.